Hello everyone! Today I'll explain to you just briefly how to set up Railroad Tycoon 2 on the Windows uh, 764 bit or Windows Vista 64 bit, depending on what you have. In any case, the important thing is that this game cannot be installed on a 64 bit machine. And this game is just amazing and um, uh, it's worth, worth every penny playing, uh, playing it basically. Now, on how to uh, ex uh, how to install this game, I'll, I'll think I'll post a sh short description as well, sort of a transcript. Uh, if you can't hear me, of the uh, amazing uh, music the game has. Basically, what you want to do is, uh, or what the pre prerequisite is for installing this game, is um, you need two machines. You need a 32-bit machine in any case. If you can't get one, I'm pretty sure you can get a Linux one. Uh, I'm not sure if this game will run on the Linux, I've never tried it. What I did was uh, uh, start this game, or start the installation, uh, so just get your CD that you have. Uh, hopefully you have a CD from the olden times where this game was out, when I was just a kid basically. But uh, I took my CD and installed it on my laptop, which is a 32-bit machine. After that, I apply the uh, the normal patch. As you can see, the version down there is um, 1.05. Uh, the patch is very small, but I think it fixes two or three things. So you want to install the game on your 32-bit machine and install the patch as well. Make sure everything is is installed and, and ready for use, basically, and, and make sure you can run the game, of course. After you're done installing the game, Copy-paste the entire folder uh, of the Railroad Tycoon where you installed the game, so the folder that has the exe file in it, uh, onto a USB or whatever other external storage that you have, or if you're running some kind of uh, dual system, you don't even need to copy it, basically. So just have it on your... It, the important thing is to have... to get it somehow onto your 64-bit machine. After you've gotten it onto your 64-bit machine, just insert the CD in the CD drive or uh, make an image if you don't want to use the CD and uh, run the game by double clicking the XE icon uh, or the XE executable. It will run and it will run just great. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do it. I'm planning on doing a nostalgic let's play of uh, Railroad Tycoon sometime uh, in the near future. I'm not sure if it's going to be my first one or not but this is a sort of a small tutorial because I know I had some troubles and if you want to play this great game then you uh, you, sh you you can just follow this tutorial and uh, get it to work and um, follow the uh, let's play afterwards if you're interested uh, in my channels and, and check the channel out uh, in my channel and check the channel out for uh, other let's plays you might find something that's interesting but uh, for now uh, thanks for watching and uh, good day